Well, I'm very happy that after being in the dark for so long, we have you here to uh, illuminate it and, and, and definitely educate us on as far as, you know, the, the benefits of beta-glucan. And I know you touched on this earlier, but it's, it's a question that we definitely get uh, time and time again. Will beta-glucan overstimulate the immune system? Well, the, again, the simple answer is no. Uh, that's why we use the term immune modulator. Imagine a, a simple light switch. You flip it on you flip it off. And then there are the, the types of light switches that not only can you flip it on, but you turn the dial and the intensity of the light will be uh, become greater or less depending on what's necessary. Well, it's the fact that we don't overstimulate the immune system that goes to this compound's tremendous safety. We activate we activate. In other words, we ready those immune cells when that CR3 receptor uh, is bound by this molecule. Now, once those cells are activated, then they're sitting there regardless of your health. And I want to emphasize at this point, you don't have to have anything wrong with you to benefit from the use of this compound. In fact, maintenance of good health is one of the primary uh, reasons people use this compound every day at a relatively low dose, say one milligram, two milligrams per kilo of body weight. But let's say you're on an airplane. Let's say you trip and fall. Let's say you go to the dentist for having a wisdom tooth pulled. Wouldn't it make sense, even though you're in generally good health, to have additional immune support if you run into some sort of a foreign uh, non-self entity, again, the viruses, the bacteria, the fungi, the cancer, the parasites. It's the presence of the non-self entity that is the secondary signal that these immune system cells require to actually get involved in the fight. Just because our beta-glucan readied the immune cell or activated it doesn't mean that it suddenly flies into action. Again, it requires that secondary signal to, to make it go into action.